January 6th, man, oh man, I just never understood. It just defied common sense how a single person could have bought that narrative that somebody in Washington, D.C., the most surveilled capital in the entire world, was able to drop off pipe bombs outside of the DNC and the RNC headquarters, and they just couldn't figure out who it was. And we all know what happened. We're not allowed to say it. I guess I should say allegedly, I believe, I think maybe the FBI had something to do with it. Uh, that'll probably is a better way to state it so I don't get into trouble. There are cameras everywhere, okay? You cannot drop off pipe bombs a few blocks away from the White House and get away with it unless they want you to get away with it because what would that signal to the world? I can hear Russia or China. Wow, <laughs> Americans can just drop off pipe bombs a couple of blocks away from the White House. Maybe they don't have such a tough security in place. Uh, obviously, they knew who did it. Obviously, they orchestrated it. And we're never, ever, ever going to get a name. I think it might have been Ray Epps. Ray Epps, remember him, the guy? Let's charge the Capitol. Oh, no, they're not interested. In, they are definitely not interested in talking to him. For some reason, he never got any jail time. And yet the shaman is rotting away in prison. Well, Tucker Carlson, Kevin McCarthy, handed over 40,000 hours of security footage from the Capitol building to Tucker Carlson. And he's been going through it. And thankfully, it is Tucker Carlson that's going through it because I trust him implicitly. I know that he is a real journalist that is actually fighting for this country. And what he has discovered is what we already knew, that the media lied to us repeatedly. There are still people in America that believe that Brian Sicknick, the officer that died a few days following the Capitol riots, right, was bludgeoned to death by a fire hydrant outside. They believe this because the media got out the lie really quickly, faster than the truth could, cut up, could catch up with it. Well, Sarah Carlson did a brilliant job debunking that first lie. Take a listen. Here is surveillance footage of Sicknick walking in the Capitol after he was supposedly murdered by the mob outside. By all appearances, Sicknick is healthy and vigorous. He's wearing a helmet, so it's hard to imagine he was killed by a head injury. Whatever happened to Brian Sicknick was very obviously not the result of violence he suffered at the entrance to the Capitol. This tape overturns the single most powerful and politically useful lie the Democrats have told us about January 6th. There you have it. Brian Sicknick apparently came back from the dead after being bludgeoned with a fire extinguisher only to reappear and direct people through the Capitol building. Of course, that makes entirely no sense because nothing we were told made any sense. It was all about harnessing emotion for people to believe that the nation was burning down because of angry Trump supporters. But And how could we forget, by the way, the biggest piece of it, which was the shaman. Remember the guy dressed up, he kind of dressed like a Native American. He was wearing a headdress. And he, by the way, is facing some real time in prison because how dangerous. The images of him yelling, holding what appeared to be a weapon. Could you imagine how scared police officers were for their life as the shaman stormed through the Capitol building? They were so scared that they escorted him through the building. Take a listen of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show that Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us in this building. There you have it, guys. Nine police officers surrounding one shaman that was holding an American flag, testing the doors, trying to escort him into the chambers. And when he gets there, he offers a prayer to his heavenly father and to the police officers. Probably, legitimately, the police officers were willing to help Trump supporters because they never dreamed that Democrats were going to pretend that this was a dangerous insurrection. And police officers aren't stupid in D.C. They know that it is the Republicans that support police officers. So why would they be fearful of a man holding an American flag? That almost signals to them that this is a person that believes in policing. So they helped him get to the chamber floors. But that doesn't matter because the Democrats put him in prison anyway. Not Ray Epps, who said, we got to storm this building. 
but the shaman who offered a prayer to his heavenly father while in the chamber. We were told that he was a dangerous man. So obviously the leftist media is in a panic because they've been, I don't know, they've been telling us this narrative. They've been, they have been weaving this web for years, 2021, and you needed to believe that there was so much violence that took place in, in this Capitol building that it became necessary for them to seize, prow- to, to seize power. This should remind you of the Nazi party, the Reichstag fire, you know, something that was orchestrated only to assume more power for the government. The Department of Justice was in on this. You should be scared. You shouldn't feel relieved by this footage. You should be scared that they got away with this for years. They lied to the public for years. That they locked people away in federal prison, okay, for even being there. They punished people for their views. This should terrify you. You should be angry and you should want real justice in the form of the politicians that promoted this dangerous lie and narrative, spending more time in federal prison than all of the individuals who were wrongly assumed to be violent. That's what you should want. That's what should happen in a just society. But we don't live in a just society. We don't. We do not live in a just society. All right, guys, the next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be reading your comments plus answering your questions. So if you are not a member yet, go ahead and click link in the description and subscribe right now. 